Bush bill. What happened was you would not allow the 150-day rule to get in there. Therefore, nothing would have happened. You did not here want to defy. Look, uh, here's you what did happened. not want to defy Rose Byrd. Here's what happened. You wouldn't vote against her. In two years later, you supported her at that this time. You didn't support. You the did not Public support Safety the Briggs Committee, Initiative, which you know in those days was the graveyard for criminal justice bill. And by whom? By whom? It was the Willie Brown justice bill. So Willie, Willie Brown voted for this bill to take it out. Come on. You mean Bill Leonard? The next Leonard, thing you're going to you, tell you, us. You, you want to tell me that Bill Leonard and Bob Naylor cast the wrong vote? That's what you're saying. No. Nope. They voted with me. No. Nope. Read, they read voted his letter. With me on 989. Just ask Gary Condit. Read Thank Bill Leonard's letter. Let me ask gentlemen. No, no, no. Uh, the other thing I would say is, no, no. The other thing I would say is, gentlemen. Oh, wait a second. I haven't answered the question. They haven't allowed me to answer. Haven't answer. <laughs> you haven't answered any of my questions tonight. Uh, if you could each, if you'd each be kind enough to give us a quick soundbite on this, we'll move on to the next well, question. This is an important issue that is not subject to a soundbite. The Democrats in the legislature during that period of time played games with the death penalty. It was a terrible, tragic joke on the victims of crime. They may find it funny now. They may find it funny now. I didn't find it funny then. I don't find it funny now. And to try and distort the record 10 or 12 or 14 years later is totally unacceptable. Those of us who fought for the death penalty understood where we were. Those who refused to support the Briggs Initiative, those who helped try and sustain a veto against the Duke Magian Law, those who voted uh, in these fig leaf votes this way, those who refused, refused to vote against Rosebird, and then those who refused to vote for the 1990 Speedy Trial Initiative, right, which resurrected the death penalty, and, and, uh, and Mr. Davis, right, Mr. Davis, just a moment, reform. gentlemen, please, Mr. Right. Davis, no, your advice. response, please, Thank and you. then we'll go to the next question from you to the Attorney General. Your response, please. I yeah, I think, uh, Mr. Lundgren, Distortion is a word the LA Times used in association with your characterization of my vote. LA in this Times bill. also said Blat you couldn't win the primary. Blat that's true. And let's go That's right. So they can't believe them all the time. Well, can they, they, <laughs> I told you you were going to win. They you, commented. You thought I was credible then when I told you you were going to win. And I'm going to win again. You have good confidence in me, and it's, <laughs> it's well placed. But let me tell you, the LA Times said it was a blatant distortion, your characterization of my vote. When have they ever supported the death penalty? I'm just telling you what the L.A. I Times see. said. All the I Orange know. County Register said you deceived the voters today. The, um, and Bill Leonard said he was misquoted, and, and in that letter talks exactly fine. about it. But here's the point. The point is that not only did I vote with Gary Condit on this measure, I voted with an earlier one on 789. On the, when the Briggs initiative was on the ballot, I voted for a capital punishment bill that added special circumstances for the killing of any peace officer. The bottom line is you're for the death penalty, and I'm for the death penalty and you have tried to deceive people on procedural votes into letting them think that I am someplace where I'm not. And I Mr. think we ought to get on with well, other the death issues. Well, the death penalty is not something to joke with. You know procedural votes were used Who's at joking? times. You are. I'm not You're joking. You're playing with facts here. I'm talking seriously about this. Read Come Bill on, Leonard's get, letter and you'll see what real, you did. Get real. No, you're trying to convince people that Willie Brown voted with you with the death penalty. You're, trying to, tell, the you're, you're trying, finished, trying to tell people that Bill Leonard and the, Bob Naylor voted the wrong way. He was the, a minority. By the time you Fine. are finished, you're going to convince these people that your very strong supporter, Rose Byrd, was a strong supporter of the death penalty. Well, That's you want just to talk about work. neutrality? Why won't you support Chief Justice Chin and uh, Chief Justice George and Associate Justice Chin? I support their confirmation and you voted for them to be confirmed as I part sure of the... I sure did. And why, why aren't you for their confirmation then? Because I would strongly object to the decision they made on parental consent, where they drew a contrast between that opinion written by Stanley Mosk, also up for reconfirmation, where Stanley Mosk said it is a question of parental rights and family rights. You may think those are simple things, but as a father, I think they're extremely important things. And I am going to put all my effort into changing that law and not personalizing it against those particular members of the California Supreme Court. So you've I've changed, not taken you've a changed, public position. You've, no, I've so not opposed neutral, them. You're neutral on that. I have said I would not take a position on those because I did not want the question of parental consent to be personalized and overwhelmed by this debate. I have said to people, look at what I did. I voted to confirm both of them. Right. I've also three said to people, people that I've also said and they have to get two votes. So that's you right, were, I know. You were the deciding Greg, vote. I show up for my job, and I do Fine. that. Fine, I'm just trying to get the record well, straight. No, you no, were no. one of three one people of... who voted for them, that's and right. now you're I'm, not voting I'm for them. I'm one of the people who does show up for my job. I've attended every single one of those meetings, in contrast to your record of 
48 percent as a board of regents, 60 percent to the board of trustees of the college, uh, uh, California well, those, State University system. Accurate. As a matter of fact, zero percent, zero no percent with respect no executive, to World Trade Commission. No ex-official member has attended more regents meetings and more trustee meetings than mine. I attend more than the speaker, more than the governor, and more than the superintendent of public instruction. Well, and we're the four ex-official members. So. But you don't have anything else to do, Greg. Gentlemen, I have been counting. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. You've got we did, 17. One thing we did was you have 17 fees. employees. You have fees. nothing else to do. Greg. Right. My, by the way, my the number of my employees have gone down as opposed to the number of your employees. I'm a better deal for the taxpayers by far. Okay. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait a sec. No, 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 no. Wait a sec. On, on this one, which of the 135 or 50 additional attorneys who are doing death penalty cases and are now doing cases that we used to hire outside counsel for for twice as much would you fire? Which of the 140? 50 additional peace officers that are in my Bureau of Narcotics Enforcement and my Bureau of Investigation, would you fire? I'm just saying that no, I... No, no, I'm asking you, you. You said so. I'm answering this question. Oh, I know. You have 17 employees. Uh, gentlemen, Mr. Lundgren, if you could just... You don't have anything I'm to answer. answer. I'm going to answer the gentlemen, question. If your people uh, just, had done a better I'm job, gentlemen, gentlelmen, we gentlemen, wouldn't have 15-year delays gentlemen, before gentlemen, death gentlemen, penalty gentlemen, appeals gen let, let me jump in. They've given me a job here. I'm supposed to be the moderator. Um, <laughs> You're doing such an effective job, Mr. Lundgren, if you would give time to Mr. Davis to do a brief response, then we want to congratulate you for doing such a challenging challenge <laughs> round, and then we'll go back to the panel, uh, pa panel are we of over questioners. Already? We are at this point. Mr. Davis, a brief response, hopefully. Well, I... <laughs>